You've launched three successful Kickstarter campaigns now, right? Yeah. With the uh, Cyber Force, uh, Stairway, and Google Fair. Four, September morning. September, September what? September morning. September morning. Yeah. How has that been? What has that been like for you? Um, like, explain to me the process of going on Kickstarter. Um, I don't love it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's very stressful, uh, and I, I, I uh, it's, it's, it's not something I want to make uh, a big part of our business sort of pathology or how we do stuff. Um, and I know it angers a lot of retailers at times. Um, I, I think for us, I looked at it as a way to reach new people. You know, there are people like my wife who buys all kinds of crazy stuff on Kickstarter all the time, but she doesn't buy comics, doesn't read comics, and she would look at something like that potentially. You know, mm -hmm. so um, the thought is there's a, there's a group of people that are just online buying that material. Um, it's uh, th those are very stressful though. You yeah. know, and you got to be creative. So uh, you know, I, I might one run one or two a year. Yeah. You know, uh, at most probably one a year. Yeah. And for me, it's like once I've fulfilled one, I'll then wait for a few months and maybe do another one. Um, it's it's a way I, I kind of look at it as a marketing campaign. Like uh, when I did Golgotha specifically, because that was the first time I'd done one like that. Um, I, I I was told repeatedly by everyone that uh, that would affect our sales in the direct market channel. And it uh, turns out that really wasn't true. You know, it, it sort of acted like an advertisement for our direct market sales and our follow-up sales. And in fact, our net sales were larger. You know, I don't know if that's a fact that it's a better book. I, you know, I'm, I'm a bigger name now. I, who knows? I mean, you can't really credit anything 100% for anything. Yeah. But, um, you know, when you run a successful Kickstarter campaign and then somebody then later sees, they, they know that the Kickstarter campaign was successful, then they see the book on the shelf, they're like, oh, oh I can give this a shot. It's let me right take here. a look at it because they've heard of it. Of you know, course. Having just heard of something is so important these days. Of you course. Know? Especially with so many titles coming out, and yes. um, I mean, I'm a big advocate for Kickstarter because I think it's it's a way that projects get made. You know, right. it's something that is so powerful, and, and anyone that backs you is because they support you, they support your work, and that's a great feeling as a creator to know that you have people out there who will back you and, and right. support you. And I think that's something that's so cool, and it's what I really love about Kickstarter myself. No, I, I agree, and I think I, it's definitely a good platform. I, I think for us, we just don't really need it. Yeah. You know, and uh, I use it. So for me, I look at it as a marketing outlet. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll pick a project here and there that I think might be better served. You know, Golgotha was an original graphic novel. It was sort of an offshoot, kind of quirky uh, science fiction thing. And I, I was, you know, we were working with a new artist, so I was curious if anyone would care. And it turned out they did.